In China, renewable clean energy is booming nowadays, as this kind of innovation brings down costs and starts to deliver on the promise of a cleaner future. This could only mean that renewables are increasingly becoming popular and slowly displacing dirty fossil fuels in the power sector. So with that said, join us in today's video as we bring you China's super amazing clean energy mega projects. China has been into clean energy plan for its future. The country is focusing on clean and efficient cool power with high quality, vigorously scaling up the use of clean energy. At a clean power base in southwest China, water is helping to not only generate electricity, but also cut carbon emissions. China's cumulative annual renewable energy generation surpassed 1 trillion kilowatt hours for the first time as the country races to meet its climate pledges. This is equivalent to 310 million tons of standard coal, cutting 780 million tons of carbon dioxide emissions. Next up, let's talk about China's offshore renewable energy sources. Here is an amazing truth about China's offshore wind farm. The total power generation of China's first gigawatt-scale offshore wind farm has surpassed 1 billion kilowatt-hours. The Shapa project was first connected to the grid at full capacity on December of 2021, with a total installed capacity of 2 million kilowatts. Since then, it has produced more than 1 billion kilowatt hours of clean energy, enough to supply 500,000 families and greatly reduce cool usage. Here is the Changlongshan Hydro Power Station. This is the largest pump storage power station in eastern China that has been put into full operation. It has 350,000 kilowatt pump storage units with a total capacity of 2.1 million kilowatts. It will add an average of 2.435 billion kilowatt hours of electricity to the grid each year during peak hours. This hydro power station is the highest rated head pumping storage power station in China. The rated speed of units 5 and 6 is 600 rpm, the highest pump storage unit in the world at this capacity level. China has built its largest fishery and photovoltaic complementary power project in the city of Wenzhou in eastern Zhejiang province. The Taihan project covers a surface area of approximately 4.7 square kilometers with photovoltaic power generation on top and fish farming underneath. It is expected to contribute an average of about 650 million kilowatt hours of energy to the grid annually, which is enough to power 130 million households. Solar and wind energy is being developed in China's drought-ridden Taidam Basin in northeastern Qinghai Tibet Plateau.
Located in the Kaidam Basin, the prefecture boosts abundant solar and wind energy resources. It has formed a holistic development pattern that is green and low carbon, with photovoltaic and photothermal power generation projects as the mainstay, while having advanced other industries including equipment manufacturing, new energy materials and photovoltaic in parallel. Here we have a horse-shaped solar farm that is protecting environment and providing jobs in China's seventh largest desert. This is Tianjihu Photovoltaic Power Station with an area of around 1.4 million square meters. Located in the Kubuchi Desert, China's seventh largest desert, the solar farm has not only generated electricity, but also protected the environment. The solar farm has also provided jobs for locals and improved their incomes. China's first power unit using the country's self-developed third-generation wall-on-one technology has completed the very first phase of its commercial operation in Fuching, southeast China's Fujian province. The Walong One is a Chinese generation third pressurized water nuclear reactor jointly developed by the China General Nuclear Power Group and the China National Nuclear Corporation. China has completed its largest offshore wind farm in the Yellow Sea after turbines off the coast of Ludong County in the eastern province of Jiangsu were finished. The wind farm is expected to generate a massive amount of renewable energy. Officials say they aim for it to reduce carbon emissions by about 1.6 million tons. So this brings us to the end of this video. I hope you found this helpful. Thanks for watching and see you on my next video.